To many pastors, theology students, and saints who have attended today's Shincheonji online seminar, testimony on the revelation of the Old and New Testaments by chapter, it's great to see you. I'm the host for today's event. My name is Shin Myung-kun. We sincerely thank everyone attending today's Shincheonji online seminar, which is being broadcasted to the whole world. Now, before we begin, let us pray with a united heart, then begin today's seminar. To our Holy Father God, who is full of loving grace, and also to Jesus, who took the cross for us and became the sacrificial offering, we give all thanks and glory. The words of the New Covenant Revelation the words of the parables of the secrets of heaven and their true meanings, and now even the revealed word of the Old and New Testaments by chapter through YouTube as you allow us to blow the trumpet to the whole world, we once again give you all thanks and glory for giving us this grace. For now is a time when revelation is being fulfilled. Please allow us to brightly realize this. Please help us to think who we are according to the Bible, and whether I myself have been created according to the Bible, and also whether this last trumpet sound is related to me or not. Please look over all the souls who have attended this time and allow them the heart to see, hear, and realize, and allow us all to certainly receive the promised blessings. Please allow this time to receive the precious realization and grace through today's lecture regarding God's objective, the recreation of heaven and earth. We pray all these things in the name of Jesus. Amen. Today is the time to testify Intermediate Lesson 24, the Word of God regarding God's objective, the recreation of heaven and earth. I hope that this is a time when you retain the word testified well and be a valuable time to receive many realization. Then we will welcome instructor Yi Yong Wu from Shincheonji Church of Jesus, Thomas Shrine, who will deliver the word about God's objective, the recreation of heaven and earth. All pastors, theology students, and saints who have hope in the kingdom of heaven and eternal life, it is my pleasure to see you. My name is Yi Yong Wu. I am the head instructor of Jeonguk Church of Shincheonji Church of Jesus, Thomas Tribe. We sincerely welcome all those who are participating in the testimony on the revelation of the Old and New Testaments by Chapter Seminar. The title of the word we'll meditate together today is Intermediate Lesson 24, God's Objective, the Recreation of Heaven and Earth. The main reference is Matthew 6, verse 10, Genesis 1, 1 till 2, 3, and Revelation 21, 1 to 7. Just like the title says, God's objective is the work of recreating heaven and earth. Until God fulfills this objective, He does not rest. Therefore, everyone who has hope in heaven and eternal life must realize when and how the heaven and earth are recreated, as this is God's objective. And also, what is the physical fulfillment of this? And how does this word relate to me? Now, I would like to explain about the key point of today's main reference verse. In Matthew 6, verse 10, God's will and objective is to fulfill God's kingdom on this earth as it is in heaven and become one with it. This is like at the time of Moses, when Moses saw the things of heaven and created God's dwelling place, the tabernacle, which is where God came down to and was together with, the people of Israel. Then, how would this kingdom of God become created? In the words of Genesis 1-1 till 2-3, In the first day, the heavens and earth were formless, empty, and darkness was over the surface of the deep. 
it falls under the water and disappears. At that time, God created the light, and from the second day until the sixth day, the heavens and the earth were recreated, and on the seventh day, God rested and gave His blessing. This is the logic of the order of how heaven and earth were recreated, and this becomes the blueprint of recreation. In every era, God's kingdom is created following the order of creation as we see in Genesis 1. In the words of Revelation 21, 1-7, the first heaven and first earth, that was, the heaven and earth for the past 6,000 years, passed away, and with the creation of the new heaven and new earth, God's objective of recreating the heaven and earth becomes complete. God and the holy city New Jerusalem come down to this place, become one, and the Sabbath rest and eternal life are fulfilled. When this is fulfilled, it is a time of Revelation's fulfillment, and the pastor who fulfills it, it is Shincheonji's promised pastor, the one who comes, New John. Now, before I explain about Genesis 1, in order to help us understand, we will look into a few things. What kind of creation will be the creation in Genesis 1? Some people say this is a creation of the physical earth, but some say it's a spiritual creation. There are many different explanations. The book of Genesis is the words God gave after the era of Adam, Noah, and Abraham, and right before Israel was to conquer the land of Canaan. God gave the words of Genesis to Moses at this time and explained about the events since the creation of the world. At the time of the first coming, Jesus spoke the secrets of heaven in parables and the things hidden since the creation of the world were told. From seeing this, we shouldn't just simply see the creation in Genesis 1 as a literal creation. If we see the creation of Genesis 1 only as a physical creation, then there are many contradictory points that do not make sense. Let's look at a few examples. On the fourth day, God creates the sun. However, on the third day, aren't there plants vegetation produced from the land. How could these living things grow from the ground before the sun exists? And the light created on the first day and the sun created on the fourth day, how are they different? Would it mean there are two types of suns? From this, we can see that the creation in Genesis 1 is describing the spiritual creation of God's kingdom in parables using the creation of the natural world. If that is the case, then why was the creation of the kingdom of heaven spoken in parables? The reason is according to the words of Matthew 13, 10-13. It is to hide from the evil ones. That's why it was spoken in parables. For the evil ones will not help the creation of the kingdom of heaven if they were to know the secrets of it, but rather because they will obstruct the work, it shouldn't be known to them right. That is why it was spoken in parables, let us understand. Until now, we have seen that the creation in Genesis 1 records about the creation of God's kingdom, but figuratively using the creation of the natural world in parables. Now, let us understand the order and the meaning of the recreation of heaven and earth seen in Genesis 1 from the first day. Let us read the word from Genesis 1-1 till verse 5. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Now the earth was formless and empty, darkness was over the surface of the deep, and the Spirit of God was hovering over the waters. And God said, Let there be light, and there was light. God saw that the light was good, and He separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day, and the darkness He called night. And there was evening, and there was morning, the first day. Yes, thank you for reading. The recreation of heaven and earth in Genesis 1 starts from the first day with the creation of light, and then it continues from the second day to the sixth day. What would have been the situation in the lead-up to the recreation? When we see verse 2 of the main reference chapter, it says that the earth was formless and empty, darkness was over the surface of the deep, and the Spirit of God was hovering over the waters. What does it mean by the heavens and earth being formless and empty, and in darkness was over them? 
This is referring to the corrupted former world. Specifically, it is describing how God's kingdom and people were destroyed due to their betrayal. In the words of Jeremiah 4, 23-28, the state of Judah and Jerusalem were destroyed by Babylon, the Gentiles, due to their betrayal, and this is like the heavens and the earth of the first day in Genesis 1. The reason why they became formless, empty, and in darkness was because they were mixed with the doctrine of the Gentiles and God and His Holy Spirit that were together with them had left. It says surface of the deep. Here, the deep refers to water. The place where there is a lot of water, we call it the sea. The sea in Daniel 7 verse 3 and verse 17 is said to be the world. Then the figurative meaning of deep is the world. God's kingdom and people who came to belong to the world for they have betrayed is the figurative meaning of the heavens and the earth of the first day. At this time, as the Spirit of God is hovering over the waters, God creates the light on the first day. What is this light referring to? The meaning of the light is the word in the beginning and the newly chosen pastor. By having the light created, the world is separated by light and darkness, or day and night. In the words of John 1, 1 1-5, God is said to be the Word in the beginning, and it says, There is light in Him, and the Word is said to be the light. The Word in the beginning that became flesh and appeared is Jesus at the time of the first coming, right? That is why Jesus said, He has come as a light. When the light of truth comes, those who seek the truth become the children of the light, and those who do not seek the truth become the children of darkness. What we can know through this is when God recreates the heaven and earth, the very first thing He does is to select and appoint a pastor who is like the light of the first day. Let's find out about the pastor like the light that God has chosen in every era. At the time of the Old Testament, God worked by choosing Adam, Noah, and Moses as a light. However, as Adam sinned, and the descendants of Noah and Moses sinned and became corrupt, they have become like a world of darkness and light. At that time, God, for the creation of a new thing, he made Jesus as a light and began a new work at the time of the first coming. And after Jesus made the new covenant, he left. At the time of the second coming, the promised pastor, the one overcomes, is made to be the light for the new work and fulfills the work of recreating the heavens and earth. This person will be the pastor who is like the light of the first day. Now, we will look into the second day of creation. God made the expanse among the waters and called the expanse the sky. This sky is different from the heaven that was in darkness on the first day, but a new sky, a new heaven. Since heaven is called the tabernacle in Revelation 13 verse 6, the new heaven means a new tabernacle. The meaning of making the expanse among the water refers to the creation of a new tabernacle the new kingdom in the world. This is like building the ark at the time of Noah and also making of the tabernacle at the time of Moses and the organization of Jesus and the twelve disciples at the time of the first coming. At the time of the second coming of the Lord, it will be the temple of the tabernacle of the testimony established through the one who overcomes. Through the making of the expanse among the waters, the waters above and the waters below are separated. The water above, the sky, becomes the truth through the revealed word, and the water below becomes the false truth through men's teachings. Through the appearance of the pastor who becomes a light created on the first day and the new tabernacle created on the second day, this world becomes judged and separated into truth and false truth. Now, we will learn about the creation on the third day. The water under the sky gathers to become a sea, 
And also, a dry ground appears, right? The dry ground that appears is called the land, and the gathered waters are called the sea. The land that has appeared is a new land. This is different from the earth on the first day. Then, what will be the physical fulfillment of this new land? This land, which is the earth, means new people, the new saints of the new kingdom. They are the saints who are gathered to the pastor who became the light of the first day and the new tabernacle created on the second day. And the gathered waters, which is a sea, refer to the false truth of the world. The pastor who become the light of the first day becomes like a farmer who sows the seed of the word into the field, which is the hearts of the saints. Therefore, in the field of their hearts, the vegetation, seed-bearing plants are produced, and also the trees that bear fruit with seed in it. The physical reality of these will be the saints created with God's seed. In other words, they become the people of the new heaven and new earth. It can be said they are entities like the tree of life. Now, we will look into the creation on the fourth day. God creates the sun, moon, and stars in the expanse of the sky. Then what will be the meaning of the sun, moon, and stars? With the family of Jacob, figuratively referred to as the sun, moon, and stars in the words of Genesis 37, 9-11, we can know that the chosen people of God's kingdom are figuratively called the sun, moon, and stars. The meaning of the sun is the pastor of God's kingdom. The moon is the evangelist, and the stars are the saints. The sun, moon, and stars are created, and with them moving, they serve as seasons, days, and years. And from that day onwards, the dates are counted. With many saints coming by being evangelized into God's kingdom, the throne is organized, and also the pastor, evangelist, saints are given tasks and positions to work. So from that moment, the history of God's work becomes counted. Likewise, Shincheonji Church of Jesus Temple of the Tabernacle Testimony was established on the 14th of March, 1984. The throne was configured, and with tasks and position given to the saints who have come out and gathered, there was an event of distinguishing them as pastor, evangelists, and saints. From that day onward, Shincheonji year 1 has begun, and now the work has counted to today, the year of Shincheonji 39. Through the sun, moon, and stars, the meaning of them governing the day and night is that through the pastor, evangelists, and saints of the new tabernacle, they govern over together the people and the Gentiles. Especially allowing them to even govern over the darkness is God giving these people the world. Now we will look into the creation on the fifth day. God made the water teeming with living creatures and let birds fly above the earth across the expanse of the sky. Here, with the water being the water of life, it means the word of God. And the sea creatures, the fish, refer to the saints who are evangelized with the Word of God. The birds are figuratively referring to the spirits that belong to God. Therefore, the meaning of this word is this. In God's tabernacle, the Holy Spirits come like a bird and work together with them. God said to them to be fruitful and increase in number and fill the water in the seas. This means to let the word of truth flow and spread across all corners of the earth, so it means to evangelize and make God's kingdom to multiply. At the time of the first coming, didn't the Holy Spirit come down upon the disciples who were gathered in Mark's attic on the day of the Pentecost. And then, they proclaimed the gospel of Christ to the ends of the earth. That is why the world of Christianity has grown so big. Likewise today, the revealed word of Shincheonji is also being conveyed towards the whole world by being one with the Holy Spirit. Many saints have listened to this word and were awakened 
And now, many pastors and churches across the whole world are signing MOUs with Shincheonji. I believe that since there is power in God's Word, it will grow even bigger. Now, we will find out about the creation on the sixth day. On the sixth day, God creates the wild animals, livestock, creatures that move along the ground, and man. In Revelation 4, there is an image of the four living creatures that appear. It is like a lion, ox, eagle, and man. The four living creatures are figuratively describing the four archangels that lead the heavenly army. Through this, what we can know is that on the sixth day, finally, there is a heavenly army on this earth that is created according to the organization of the four living creatures in God's kingdom in the spiritual world. Through this, what is important is the creation of man. It says the man was created in God's image and likeness. Not only the physical image of man, but also the spirit of man must be created in the image and likeness of God. A man who has been recreated like this can also be called a child of God, God's offspring, or a person like God. A person who has been recreated like this will be the one who can live in the kingdom of heaven together. Then what kind of condition would a person be when the person has not been recreated? According to the words recorded in Genesis 1 verse 2, it is a state of being formless, empty, and in darkness. With this condition, one would not be able to receive salvation. Therefore, what will be needed? It is becoming a new creation that is born again. Then how can one be born again? In John 3 verse 5, it said one must be born again of the water and the Spirit. In 1 Peter 1 verse 23, it says one has to be born again of God's seed, that is, the Word of God. I hope we'll all be born again with the Word and become the family of heaven. God gives blessing to the people who are born again, but God said to be fruitful, increase in number, fill the earth, subdue, and rule over. Therefore, the one who is born again will be the Lord of all creation and become God's children who can receive the inheritance. This is the logic of the order of creation from the first to the sixth day. From the time of Adam until the time of Revelation, the work of creation and recreation of heavens and earth, according to Genesis 1, repeats in every era. In each era, when God's creation becomes corrupt, God will tear it down and create again. In every era, God will tear down the corrupted world and create the new world to enter the rest. But has there ever been a time in the 6,000 years of God's work when the work of recreating the heavens and earth was complete and God rested eternally? There was not. Then, we will find out when and how the recreation of heaven and earth happened. Firstly, in order to find out when this becomes fulfilled, let's read Isaiah 65 verse 17 and Revelation 21 verse 1. Behold, I will create new heavens and a new earth. The former things will not be remembered, nor will they come to mind. Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and first earth had passed away, and there was no longer any sea. As we have just read, in Isaiah 65 verse 17, it says God will create new heavens and a new earth. Also, in Revelation 21 verse 1, it says John sees a new heaven and new earth. Then this will only be seen when it is created, isn't it? Therefore, we can see that the recreation of heaven and earth is fulfilled at the time of the fulfillment of Revelation. This is a time of the second coming of the Lord. It is the end of age. It is a time of harvest. Then, we'll find out how the recreation of heaven and earth happened. In Revelation 21 verse 1, it says, The new heaven and new earth must be created after the first heaven and first earth pass away. 
Therefore, we'll need to know what is the first heaven and first earth that pass away in Revelation. What would be the first heaven and first earth that pass away? This is referring to the world of the former heaven that has become corrupted. That will be the tabernacle of the seven golden lampstand and its saints who have betrayed. There are three mysteries that appear in Revelation. The first mystery is in Revelation 1 verse 20, the mystery of the seven stars and the seven golden lampstand. They are the seven messengers who appear at the Lord's second coming, doing the work of the lampstand that prepares the way and his tabernacle and his saints. They are the tabernacle and saints that have been chosen first at the Lord's second coming. They were working being in Jesus' right hand. However, they forsake the first love and fall. This event of betrayal eventually occurs. In Revelation 2 and 3, they receive the teachings of Satan Nicolaitans and eat the food sacrificed to idols and commit adultery. And thereby, they break the covenant just like Adam as written in Hosea 6 verse 7. Their condition is just like the heaven and earth in the first day in Genesis 1, being the tabernacle and saints that are formless, empty, and in darkness. They are not able to receive salvation in such state. Therefore, Jesus commands New John, who is a pastor Jesus chose and anointed in Revelation 1, to send the letters to the messengers of the seven churches. According to that command, the letters were sent. However, Despite receiving the letters, they still did not repent. Therefore, they are judged in Revelation 6 and come to an end. The tabernacle and saints who have betrayed are figuratively described as a heaven and earth and sun, moon, and stars that are judged and come to an end. As they are judged, a great earthquake occurs, and the sun, moon, and stars become darkened and fall and each mountain and island are removed from its place. It has become the heaven and earth that are formless, empty, and in darkness. And as they are thrown out to the den of the Gentiles, they have become the subjects of the kingdom that are thrown outside to darkness in Matthew 8, 11-12. Eventually, in Revelation 8 and 9, they now come to belong to the Gentile destroyers, and their spirits are killed one-third at a time, and they come to an end. They started in spirit, but ended in their mere flesh. In Revelation 17, the destroyers are figuratively described as a prostitute and the beast with seven heads and ten horns. This is a second mystery that appears in Revelation. In Revelation 17 verse 1, it says the prostitute is sitting on many waters. And in verse 3, it says, she is rotting on the beast with seven heads and ten horns. In verse 15, the many waters that the woman is sitting are the many people, multitudes, nations, and languages. In Revelation 13, they come out from the sea and enter God's tabernacle and invade. And as such, it is as if the many waters have flooded the tabernacle. Then, what happens in the tabernacle? There will be a flood. The tabernacle and its saints who have betrayed eventually become the heaven and earth of the first day that are under the waters and disappear. The physical fulfillment of this event happened at the tabernacle temple that was established in 1966 in the Republic of Korea in the province of Gyeonggi-do, city of Hwacheon, under the mountains of Cheonggye. Now, Let's find out about the new heavens and new earth that are recreated. The new heaven is a new tabernacle, and the new earth is a new saints. And the new heaven and new earth is referring to Shincheonji Church of Jesus, the temple of the tabernacle of the testimony, and the saints of the twelve tribes who have been harvested and sealed. As we learned earlier, the recreation of the heavens and earth starts with the creation of light on the first day. Then, who is the light created in Revelation referring to? This light is the promised pastor of Shincheonji, the one who overcomes, New John. He is the one who went up to the throne of heaven in the spiritual world in Revelation 4. 
He is the pastor who ate the open book that came from heaven in Revelation 10 and is delivering those words. He is the one who fought the group of the dragon and overcame in Revelation 12. And he is the witness who saw and heard the events of the entire book of Revelation in Revelation 22 verse 8. And he is the messenger of Jesus who speaks on behalf of him, who has been sent for the churches in verse 16. Now, we will find out about the creation of new heaven from second till sixth day. As we see in Revelation 12, there is a male child who was given birth by the woman, clothed with the son and his brothers. As they fought and overcame the group of the dragon, God's kingdom became fulfilled. Therefore, they become the ones who are victorious. In Revelation 6 verse 6, they are called the small number of remnant seeds, the quarter wheat, the three quarts of barley, that were left when the corrupted world of former heaven was judged. They become the seed of recreation in Revelation 7. In Revelation 15 verse 2, they are those who are victorious over the beast, image, and the number of his name, and came out. Through them, those who were victorious, Shincheonji, the temple of the tabernacle of the testimony, becomes established. And they are the family of the twelve tribes who have been harvested to that place, and they are the sealed twelve tribes, the 144,000, and the multitude in white. They are figuratively described as the various vegetation, sun, moon, and stars, and living creatures, and the man that were created from the third to the sixth day. Shincheonji Church of Jesus, the temple of the tabernacle of the testimony, is God's kingdom that is fulfilled on this earth as it is in heaven. And according to the logic of the order in Genesis 1, it is God's new kingdom and new people that has been recreated. Therefore, the names of the people, location, church, and organization are all created according to the new covenant revelation. It becomes God's one and only creation. I hope that you can check with your own eyes and be the people who have faith. Now we will find out about the rest on the seventh day. It says that God created for six days and rested on the seventh day and gave His blessing. Among the 6,000 years of God's work, there was never a time that God entered His rest eternally. Then when will be this time when God enters into His eternal rest, after God judges the corrupted world of the former heaven in Revelation 6? God creates the world of a new heaven, Shincheonji, in Revelation 7. It is to this place that God comes down to, as written in Revelation 21, and that time when God comes down is a time when God enters into His rest. At this time, when God and even us live in the recreated kingdom of heaven, God will enter the rest and we will receive the promised blessing of eternal life. These words are truly hopeful. Let's read Revelation 21, 1-4. Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth had passed away, and there was no longer any sea. I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride, beautifully dressed for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, Now the dwelling of God is with men, and he will live with them. They will be his people, and God himself will be with them, and be their God. He will wipe every tear from their eyes. There will be no more death, or mourning, or crying, or pain, for the old order of things has passed away. Yes, thank you for reading. As we see in this content we just read, when the new heaven and new earth is created on this earth as it is in heaven, then the kingdom of heaven of the spiritual world, the holy city New Jerusalem, it will come down out of heaven from God and will be together with the people at this place. As God's dwelling is with men, it says there will be no more death or mourning or crying or pain. Therefore, the matter of birth, aging, sickness, and death becomes completely resolved. 
These are truly hopeful words. Then who are the people who fulfill this hope? They are the people who are created like the sixth day in Genesis 1. They are the saints who have been recreated in God's image and likeness. They are the ones who are born again of the water and the Spirit, who has been born again through the seed of God's Word. Also, at the time of Revelation's fulfillment, there are God's saints who receive the atonement of sin through the blood of Jesus by keeping the new covenant. God and the kingdom of heaven in the spiritual world who left because of sin is able to come down when Revelation is fulfilled. As a new heaven and new earth is created, the people who've been recreated appear there. As God becomes one with them at this place, the lifeline that was disconnected becomes connected again. This is the true will and objective of religion. God fulfills this objective and enters into the rest and gives the promised blessing of eternal life. In order to fulfill this objective, God and even Jesus have been working tirelessly without rest until today. Now I would like to deliver today's conclusion. After the sin of Adam, as God's rest was broken, God repeatedly does the work of creation according to the order of Genesis 1 until all creation is restored to its original image. The first day was formless and empty and in darkness, and from the second to sixth day, God created the new heaven and new earth. The recreation of heaven and earth of Genesis 1 becomes complete through the creation of new heaven and new earth in Revelation 21. The first heaven and first earth that comes to an end are the subjects of the kingdom, the tabernacle of the seven golden lambs and the betrayed. God and the holy city, New Jerusalem, come down to new heaven, new earth, Shincheonji, 12 tribes, and enter into the rest and give the promised blessing of eternal life. Therefore, let us not resemble the corrupted previous generations, but let us participate in the work of recreation of heaven and earth, become the new creation who is born again with God's seed and spirit, and make every effort into entering the rest. The word you have learned so far is the word that was learned through Jesus' true witness, who is the promised pastor of Shincheonji. We hope many pastors around the world will learn this word and teach it to your congregation members, and we can all be the precious family of heaven who receive the blessing of the kingdom of heaven and eternal life. In the next session, we'll share the word of Intermediate Lesson 25 with the title, Shincheonji, Church of Jesus, the Temple of the Tabernacle of the Testimony. There will be an instructor who delivers the word much better than me that will testify the word next time. I hope that we can all look forward to the next session and come together. We are one in God, Jesus, and the Bible. With that meaning, let's shout out together. Beyond nationality, race, and religion, we are one. We are one! Let us all pray. Dear, thankful, gracious, and holy Father God, we truly thank you for allowing this time to open today the Shincheonji Online Seminar Testimony on the Revelation of the Old and New Testaments by Chapter. And we thank you for guiding the pastors, theology students, and saints all around the world to participate together. We are one in God, Jesus, and the Bible. Please allow us all to be born again. Allow us the heart and ear to understand and eyes to see so that we can all become one family. Please allow us all to receive the world of peace and freedom in the Lord. We have prayed in the name of Jesus, who is the Savior of our lives. Amen. Thank you so much for listening well until the end. As there is God's kingdom where we can eat the Passover food that is promised, 
then should we know what this kingdom of God is? The physical fulfillment of God's kingdom, new heaven and new earth, is Shincheonji, Church of Jesus, the temple of the tabernacle of the testimony. As God and the kingdom of heaven of the spiritual world comes down and becomes one with new heaven, new earth, Shincheonji, Church of Jesus, the temple of the tabernacle of the testimony, the spirit and flesh become one, and they receive the blessing of heaven and eternal life. I trust it has been a time of realization and grace with the precious word. The title of next session will be Intermediate Level 25, Shincheonji, Church of Jesus, the Temple of the Tabernacle of the Testimony. I hope you'll also attend the next Intermediate Seminar and have a precious time of understanding. The Shincheonji Online Seminar, Testimony on the Revelation of the Old and New Testaments by Chapter, is being broadcasted in various languages around the world simultaneously through the official Shincheonji YouTube channel. That is why anyone who has the heart can listen to this word. In addition to today's word, if you have any curiosities about Shincheonji Church of Jesus and the Word of Revelation, please contact the numbers of the tribe on the screen. Now, let us finish all the order of today's seminar with the prayer that the Lord has taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our debts as we also have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom, power and glory forever. Amen. Thank you so much for everyone who are with us today.